Well, who needs to see the film then? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 posters that spoiled the entire movie. For this list, we're looking at films for which posters were made that gave away significant plot points. Please note, much like the offending posters, we will be spoiling these films. You're too late, Spider-Man. I designed this power grid. Now I'm gonna take back what is rightfully mine. Number 10, The Cabin in the Woods. This meta horror comedy is a wonderful love letter to and deconstruction of the horror genre. Everybody ready? Yeah. Written by Joss Whedon and Drew Goddard, The Cabin in the Woods is a wildly original ride, but one that was best enjoyed by cinema goers that went into it without any sort of exposure. It at first seems like a classic evil spirits attack a cabin sort of film. Dana, don't open I'm not leaving here without Jules. That dead girl's out there! But that superficial story is just the face of an elaborate and technologically advanced program set up to provide ancient beings with blood sacrifices. That reveal is awesome, which is why we wish the international poster had saved it for the theater. Number 9. Star Trek Into Darkness What is a Star Trek film without a ship? We have to do this now! I told the captain the shuttle wasn't built for this kind of heat! Not particularly interesting, that's what. Even in the rebooted Star Trek universe, the creative powers that be wouldn't dare give us a story without the central theme of space voyaging. So we couldn't help but assume that this image of the USS Enterprise was taken from the film's third act, in which Kirk and Company's beloved ship apparently goes down in flames. <laughs> understand the desire to tell viewers that you're really shaking things up with the sequel, but there's a difference between teasing a game-changing moment and straight up spoiling the ending. Number 8, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. I don't know you anymore. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. You're going down a path I can't follow. Can you believe it? Anakin Skywalker becomes Darth Vader. What a spoiler. Just kidding. Obviously, the conclusion of this film is what we'd been waiting to see from the moment the prequel trilogy was announced. The spoiler we were less happy about was the lightsaber duel that the marketing department decided to put front and center on this particular poster. For the most widely distributed Revenge of the Sith poster, Anakin and Obi-Wan can be seen dueling, but the setting is fairly obscured. For this particular design, however, it's literally just a shot from the climactic battle on Mustafar. Though perhaps not the most egregious of spoilers, it was a totally unnecessary preview. You were my brother, Anakin! I loved you! Number 7, The Shawshank Redemption. To be fair, this poster is ambiguous enough that it doesn't automatically give away the ending. However, if you were looking at it closely and you'd already read the film's plot description, the man in the poster's body position certainly conveys a sense of freedom, salvation, and or triumph. What really makes this poster spoilerific, however, is the tagline, which makes the connection between the dramatic shot of Tim Robbins and the idea of freedom rather explicit. Given that this film is widely considered to be one of the greatest ever made, most people already know the ending. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. I hope. But considering everything Andy Dufresne goes through to escape, we think he earned his right to a big reveal. Andy crawled to freedom through 500 yards of shit-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Number 6, Free Willy. Willy is the titular whale in this family-friendly drama, and as the title suggests, the plot centers around an effort to get him freed from captivity. So put him back in the ocean. You two, and you, and me. That's right, lady. The title alone is already a little spoilery, if we're being honest. Now pair it with the poster, which shows Willie leaping over a rock wall to what we can only assume is freedom. Well, there goes all the drama. Obviously, considering the fact that this film was intended for kids, there was no way for the movie to end any other way. Still, they could have done us the courtesy of not using a shot from the film's super emotional climax as the poster. 
So long, Willie. Number five, King Kong. Nowadays, everybody knows how this iconic story plays out. But back in 1933, as hard as it might be to imagine, King Kong had yet to become a household name. And cinema goers had no idea where this adventure was going to take them. But what is it? It's money and adventure and fame. It's the thrill of a lifetime and a long sea voyage that starts at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Exotic filmmaker Carl Denham and his crew head off to the mysterious Skull Island, where they soon discover far more than they bargained for, with dinosaurs, natives, and the titular Kong. The whole adventure could have played out on the island, but as we now know, Kong is brought back to the big city. This would have been quite the shocker in 1933, had the poster not shown Kong on a skyscraper. Number 4. Lone Survivor Honestly, with a title like that, this film really could not afford to put its star on the poster. But they went ahead and did it anyway. And with that, this 2013 movie lost a whole lot of appeal. We get it, a biopic isn't a reality show. We're not supposed to be guessing who's gonna make it to the end credits. We need a meeting. Here's some uh. Because its ending was already a newsworthy story, this dramatic tale of wartime survival is about the journey, not the conclusion. But still, for viewers who wanted to really lose themselves in the story and get invested in all the characters, this poster plus title combo made that all but impossible. Safe, Marcus. You're going home. Coming out. Side, walking around. Come on. Right, Marcus. <sighs> Number three, Rocky IV. Why not just drop the Roman numerals and call this sports drama Rocky Wins? Because the marketing department had already gone ahead and spoiled it anyway. Part of what makes Rocky so compelling, and the climactic fight so engrossing, is the fact that this boxing hero does not always win. There are real stakes when he steps into the ring. And when he went up against the Soviet juggernaut Ivan Drago, who had just killed Apollo Creed, fans had every reason to fear that Mr. Balboa might lose too. Unfortunately, this poster sucked all the mystery and interest right out of the fight by loudly declaring that Rocky, and by extension America, would win this bout. Rocky Balboa has done the impossible, and these people love it. It is absolute pandemonium more than ever. Rocky yeah. has proven himself a true champion. Number two, Carrie. Sure, Stephen King is one of the most read authors on the entire planet. And considering how well his debut novel sold, chances are that many cinema goers already knew where the story was headed. They're all gonna laugh at me! Too late. You can stay here with me. I don't wanna stay with you, Mama! But even when adapting a popular novel, it's common courtesy not to take a shot from the story's climax and then use it as a promotional image. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got the winners. Right. I give you Tommy Ross and Carrie White! Yeah! For those who had not read the book, the emotional impact of Carrie being named prom queen, only to be humiliated, would have been devastating, had that moment not already been given away courtesy of this poster. I was just talking about how the most iconic shot of Free Willy was the whale jumping over the kid, but of course that is the most spoilery thing imaginable because it's literally when Willy is being freed. However, there are much worse films that you could have spoiled by the posters, one of which is at number one. Any clue what it is? It's part of an important franchise, I will say that. All right, let's check out some honorable mentions and then spoil our top pick. continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Terminator Genesis 
If you're gonna do something controversial with a popular franchise, you know, like turn humanity's savior into a villain, you should really make it a big, shocking twist. I cannot hold John Connor much longer. <laughs> Kyle Reese, protect my Sierra. Putting that reveal on one of the posters for the film? Yeah, that's just gonna piss fans off. The Terminator franchise had been swerving all over the place with Rise of the Machines and Salvation, so devotees were hoping that with Genesis, things would finally get back on track. Goddamn time traveling robots covering up their goddamn tracks. I knew it. When this poster proudly revealed that they turned John Connor into a Terminator, what fans heard loud and clear was this franchise is out of ideas. <sighs> That hurt. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.